Now let's have a look at examples of using the discriminant to find a range of values. Example 1. Find the range of values for k, so the following function has two real roots. And we're given a function f of x equals 3x squared plus kx plus 12. So we need to find a value of k to give the quadratic function here two real roots. So let's highlight our a, b and c value. We've got 3 for a, k for b, and 12 for c. Now for two real roots, the condition is b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. So we need to find a value of k that makes this function greater than 0. So first of all, we'll substitute our values in for a, b and c. And we want k squared minus 144 to be greater than 0. So k squared has to be greater than 144. And we evaluate, we transpose this for k and evaluate it. So k has to be greater than the square root of 144, which is 12. So for two real roots, k has to be greater than 12. Okay, example two. Find the value of m so the following function has equal real roots. f of x equals 3x squared plus 8x plus m. So we'll highlight our a, b, and c values. Now for equal real roots, the condition is that we want b squared to equal 4ac. So we'll substitute our values for b, a, and c into the equation. And we'll just tidy this up. And so we have 12m is equal to 8 squared. 8 squared is 64. We can divide both sides by 12. Therefore, m is equal to 16 over 3. And so for this to have equal roots, m has to equal exactly 16 divided by 3. Example 3. Find the value of p so the following function has two real roots. f of x equals px squared minus 8x plus 4. So again, we'll highlight our a, b, and c values. And for two real roots, we want b squared minus 4ac to be greater than 0. So we'll substitute our b, uh, a, and c values in. So we've got minus 8 squared minus 4 times p times 4. And we can tidy this up. So minus 8 squared is 64. And we've got 4 times 4 is 16. So 64 minus 16p to be greater than 0. What we can do is subtract 64 from both sides. And minus 16p is greater than minus 64. We can divide both sides by minus 16. And remember, because we're dividing by negative numbers, we have to flip the sign there. And that leaves us p is less than, or has to be less than, minus 64 over minus 16. So for two real roots, p has to be less than 4.